always use water to your advantage. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a couple spicy rehousings. We have not one Samalpais to rehouse, but two Samalpais to rehouse. So yeah, that's the plan. If you did not know, Samalpais are New World Tarantulas. They are arboreal and they are exceptionally fast and a little moody. They're not my favorite, to be honest, when it comes to any sort of interaction. I think the first one we'll rehouse is my Samalpais. Starts with an E. Somebody help me, I don't remember. It's like E, C, C. I don't know what species this one is, but it's pretty unique and it's pretty cool. And I've also happened to raise this one from a teeny tiny sling, so I feel a little proud of myself. But yeah, this one could probably probably use a new home and I wanted to size it up in a different enclosure since they're not my favorite to rehouse so I'm gonna go like bigger than I normally would and I also have this lovely specimen to rehouse this is a Samalpais Cambridge. also had this one since it was a little sling and I have a larger female I'm not really sure if this one's male or female but this one also needs a new home it recently molted that's why its abdomen is pretty small but yeah we'll go ahead and give it a bigger enclosure okay so yeah let's Let's just get into this. For some reason, rehousing the small ones kind of freak me out more because they're smaller and sometimes they're a little quicker. Like when, when they gain a little bit of size, they kind of get some confidence, which you can run into its own problems there with like threat poses and actually meaning business. But the little ones sometimes are really quick to just flee. So I'm going to go about this as absolutely carefully as possible because one of the last things I want is a Samalpais on my ceiling. Now for the little guy, I guess we'll start with them. Like I said, I'm going to go a little bit larger than I normally would, larger than what it actually needs at this size. I have like so much cork bark that I need to pick through and decide which to use. Some of these I feel like would be better for terrestrial. This one, I really like this piece of cork. I might see if this one will fit. You know what, I really do like this one. And see, the thing with Samalpais is that despite the fact that they are arboreal, they actually will kind of build a web around the base of a piece of cork or whatever kind of hide you give them. And the nice thing about these tarantula cribs is that the background is solid. So that kind of gives them a little bit more privacy. But yeah, I think that even though we have some extra space up top, I do think that this would be pretty well suited for this species. Now I will drop just a little bit of leaf litter in here because it will use this dirt and the stuff on the bottom to incorporate in what I would call a web curtain. And although these aren't very humidity dependent, they will appreciate some moss to use in that web curtain as well. So yeah, it actually will work out pretty well. I think that this could be a nice little home. And we will drop in one of these water dishes because some of us do like to have a nice drink of water, I noticed. I think that'll be pretty good. We are going to try to do this as carefully as possible. All right, so I have my tongs and the tarantula is right here. And it is kind of trying to pretend like it's not there. Yeah, I had a feeling it was just gonna run under there. Now there's a couple ways I could do this actually. I could just like let it stay there, but I also could kind of try to coax it out. Like I feel like I could possibly just like pull this up. It's really pretty if we actually can get a good view of it. I don't know, if I poke it, it might like totally just run, yeah. And that's not what I want to hit. Oh no! Okay, <laughs> so we got like the spider in here, but it still has like some cork. I'm gonna show you its feet though. It has really pretty feet. Check out those magenta feet. They are gorgeous. And yeah, I have my cup, catch cup right here just in case, but I'm going to try to encourage it to like go into the enclosure. Actually, where's, before I do this, where the hell did I put the door? Oh no, where's the door? Oh no, oh no. 
Here it is. It's actually like behaving pretty calm. There we go. Yeah. Check it out. Ooh. See that where there's that bolt I was talking about. And just kind of whoop, right into that moss. We'll take this out. Door. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that actually went a lot better than I was expecting. Oh, I see it. It's all the way back behind the uh, cork already, but at least we did get a pretty good look at it. We got a better look at it than I was expecting because I kind of thought about just ditching the old enclosure in there, but I took one for the team. I did it for you guys. No, it was actually just being extremely calm. So yeah, if it's gonna be chill, I will pull it out, but if it's gonna like fight me, then no, I'm not gonna fight it back. <laughs> So now I have a little bit of confidence. Hopefully this one does not test me. Oh, it's already bolting around. No, don't bolt. We have an Exoterra for this one. I probably would give a Samalpais just a little bit more substrate than I would give a different kind of arboreal tarantula, like an Avic or Caribbean Aversi color, because those guys really aren't gonna touch the substrate, but a Samalpais will. They really take their web dirt curtains seriously. But that's what's pretty cool about them. Yeah, we're gonna do this. So with this enclosure, I actually took the background out just because I feel like it really takes up a lot of room if you leave the Exoterra one in. So they don't typically feel as like secure when it's clear like this, but it will be up against a wall, so it will still kind of have some privacy. However, we will add, you know, the usual. I really think this moss will be good too for those web curtains. Yeah, I'll stick it back here. I bet it'll use it. Water bowl goes down here. Oh no. How are we gonna do this one? What should we do? Should we come in from the top? Or should we come in from the side? Hmm, I think let's go in from the side again because that worked pretty good for the other. Where did my paintbrush go? Catch cop, paintbrush. Please don't be scary. Okay, you can see it like right here. So I'm gonna see if I can poke it out like the other way. See, I hate that it's like facing down. See how it's just like facing down? Uh, I want you to turn around and go onto the cork. I think I, ooh, I think I glued this cork in too, didn't I? Maybe not, I don't remember. I'm just trying to tickle its toes so that, yes. I wonder if I could just like sprinkle in like a little bit of water for it to be like, oh, I don't like this. Always use water to your advantage. No, it's just going to drink. <laughs> it's supposed to go up, not down to the water. Oh no, okay, well. Did I, oh. Oh, Jesus. There we go, check it out. Okay, awesome. See, this one was so overdue for an enclosure. Wow, this is, okay. Wow. I am very impressed with myself today. Nobody, nobody got out. This is not my favorite species to be hands-on with, but I feel like I'm getting a lot better with the quick arboreal species. Not that I, I'm gonna like suddenly go get a bunch of them, I'm not. Yeah, and like I said, it's gonna use like all of this to just build some kind of like curtains. In fact, I can show you my other Samalpais enclosure really quick and you'll see what I mean. Okay, I told you I would show you my other Samalpais Cambridgey, so I thought maybe we could try feeding her really quick because she's actually out, which is kind of a little rare. And I happen to have a very big hornworm. I think she will take it. Oh, these make me so nervous. I'm so, I think I'm more nervous to give her a worm than I was to rehouse them. All right, let's try it. Oh, <laughs> that was the 
best catch ever. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. That is a great takedown. I'm gonna take this opportunity really quick to uh, change out her water dish because she uh, put her molt in it. She always puts her molts in the water dish. It's so funny. But yeah, so she, <laughs> she has that worm. Let me show you these dirt curtains I'm talking about. Check that out. You can totally see that she built like this really intricate little hideout under the cork. And that's what we like to see. And that's what I expect the other one to do now that it's in the enclosure. So yeah, all right. I think everybody is pretty happy. I have a huge mess to clean up now. <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, like this video. If you did, subscribe if you're not. If you want to be. Don't forget I have an Instagram video, it's probably way too much. It's at terrangela.cat, you can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring, and it's all linked down below. And let's get into the Patreon pet pic. 